What's up? I'm Shumiana and welcome to my channel. This will be a DIY type video of how I decorated my sketchbook cover. So the things you will need for this is a sketchbook, journal, notebook, or anything you want to decorate, some palette knives, an X-Acto knife, some paint brushes, and also some sponges I didn't include in this beginning part, but I use that a lot. Some stamps and stencils, these are the ones I used. I got some of these from a craft store and then some of them from Amazon. Palettes for mixing paints and such, I just use plastic plates since they're disposable and it's easy. some decorations and such, so I printed out some music and I tea dyed it so it could have this old crunchy vibe to it. Some Mod Podge. This Liquitex uh, modeling paste. various paints of your choosing for whatever color scheme you may like to have. And so I just started off by kind of ripping up the cover with the X-Acto knife. Um, this isn't really necessary, I wanted to add some texture but in the end you couldn't even see this, so feel free to skip this if you want. And then I'm starting off painting the cover because I wanted to block off the colors that were there so the blue didn't show too much through in the end because I did not want to have the blue showing. That's the whole point of covering it up. And so for this I just used the brown, black, and gold paint. Acrylic paint, of course. And then I went over top of it with a little extra gold paint so it looked nice. And now I'm taking my pieces of sheet music and I'm ripping them up so they wouldn't have a crisp edge and then I'm crinkling them and then putting it on the cover with the Mod Podge. And I'm putting a bunch of different pieces on, bigger pieces at first and then take, ripping up smaller pieces to put into the cracks, kind of like a little mosaic type thing. And for anyone that has used Mod Podge before, is it just me or does it smell really good? Like it's a chemical smell but I like it for some reason. I don't know, I'm weird. And if you don't know what this is, it's kind of like a glue thing. Um, it dries completely clear, but it seals in things very nicely. And the one I'm using is a glossy finish, but they make it in matte and some other stuff I'm not sure, but I know they make it glossy and matte. And here I am filling in some of the spots with some smaller little ripped up pieces. And as you can see, I'm not using brushes, brushes or anything, I'm using one of those craft sponges that's kind of like on a paintbrush stick, and I thought that worked really well for this. And I also ended up using the same thing to apply the paint. And now I'm starting with the modeling paste, and this is kind of like a, a textured thing um, when you apply it. Um, through a stencil or just smoothly, it kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a paste, you know? I don't know, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> but it kind of leaves a raised surface so it's not just a flat paint and it creates textures. And so I used this fern stencil. And it was kind of messy when I took it off because of the texture of the, um, the sheet music that I glued underneath it, it wasn't a flat texture so that's why the thing kind of got a little bit messy so I just cleaned up the inside a little bit. First I did it with a q-tip and then I went with my palette knife and kind of scraped it away. And then the parts that were really green I filled them in with a little bit of the brownish paints. And now I'm trying again with the smaller stencil and I'm realizing that it's not working out, it kind of looks like a big mush. 
so I kind of tried blending and wiping that away, and then of course I try again and the same thing happens, so it was some trial and error, and instead of using the stencil I decided to just do some random dots here and there, with some of the mix of modeling paste and green paint. And then I didn't want the fernies to be too like a solid color so I added some more dimension to it I guess you could say. And then I have some little doodads and later I add some buttons and uh, safety pins and I paint them with that same combo of first gold and then putting a little bit of black on it to attach to the cover because I thought it was looking a little boring. And then here I am going in again, trying with the modeling paste and adding some little, little things, little leaves. And then with some E6000 glue, which is the only good glue that I could find, I glued on my little knickknacks. And I actually got this glue all over my fingers and under my nails and it was so hard to get off and it was gross and like squishy and if you're using this be very careful try not to go too much with your fingers use like tools or like tweezers or something to place your items and so there you see I'm adding the buttons and then that stringy cords metal beads things <laughs> I don't know what they're called And I didn't really have a plan for this, I kind of just threw everything on where I thought it would look good. And this was my first bigger, I guess, mixed or multimedia, mixed media? Mixed media, because I think multimedia is like computer stuff. Mixed media artwork contraption. And I actually found uh, a lot of these videos on YouTube and I got so inspired um, by them. And then, yeah, I finally decided to do this because I've been planning this for months and I finally have time for it now. And so there she is. I, in the end, really liked it. There were a couple spots where I was nervous that it wasn't going to end up how I thought it would. And it's not like how I imagined it, but I still love it regardless. So thank you so much for watching. If you're interested, stick around and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Toodles!